Good morning, and welcome to Daylight with Dean number 289 on February 19th, 2021. The sound is sounding good, so it seems like all is in order, and my hands are enjoying this cup of coffee, <laughs> because I went to start my car and realized we got an inch to two inches of snow last night here in New Kensington, and I don't walk on the sidewalk without sweeping it, sweeping the snow off it. It's a real light snow because once you walk on it, it cakes and pushes down and then turns into ice. So I swept the sidewalk. I swept off my daughter's car. I swept off the car I'm driving this morning. I then swept off my neighbor's drive, uh, sidewalk and front sidewalk to her house, her and his house, and then came back and started my car I'm driving and came back inside with no gloves on. So my hands are really enjoying this cup of coffee, but not nearly as much as my mouth will in just a second. Let's enjoy our first sip of coffee together this morning. So I was planning on coming on at 5.50 this morning and started actually at 6 a.m. So I lost about 10 minutes of daylight with you, but I missed you yesterday. I just uh, can't tell you how much I missed being with you guys, talking with you guys, visiting with you guys, praying with you guys, and I just couldn't fit it in, couldn't make it happen. Um, I woke up too late to do that and get to the gym and just uh, I, I wanted you to know uh, I really enjoy this time with you and uh, hope that you had a great day yesterday. Oh. I've had a, a, a lot of meetings this week, and um, it has it has kind of thrown me back into pre-COVID pace <laughs> this week, and now I'm sweating, which you can't see, but when I feel <laughs> when I feel sweat rolling down my forehead, I can't talk and feel that at the same time. So I had a, a meeting with our new technology team at the River Sunday evening via Zoom. And then um, Tuesday evening, I think I was home. <laughs> and worked on the sermon yesterday, but that meeting didn't start till, uh, till about 2.30 and went till nearly 5 p.m. <laughs> so um, that, was, that was a meeting, and then I had a 6 p.m. meeting after that, so <laughs> uh, had that, got home after 8.30 last night. I uh, have a meeting this evening. I have a wedding rehearsal Friday evening. I have a wedding on Saturday. <laughs> so it's just... A lot of my evenings disappeared this week, and um, I just I'm just like, wow, where where what is going on? It's like breakneck speed again, stuff during the day and then evenings at night. Um, yesterday, working on the sermon with uh, Mark, our campus pastor in Franklin Park at the River, there, um, really pumped about all that we covered, and where this message is going and um, 
cannot wait, cannot wait. Going to work on it some more today and then finish it up Friday and preach Friday afternoon. Um, got the place lined up we're preaching inside, so we'll be grateful about that. And um, so my brother lives in Oklahoma City, and I hadn't seen any pictures on Facebook. <laughs> hadn't talked to him so I sent him a text at about 10:45 last night realizing it would be 9:45 at his place and he started to text me back and then just thought well he's up I'll go ahead and call him so he called we talked for about a half hour got all caught up on everything and he uh he said he told me a story I don't think he'll mind me telling this um that his son is in college in Oklahoma and uh his dorm or apartment uh, a water line broke in the apartment above his and so the water started leaking down in the common area of his apartment um, which is surrounded by all the bedrooms of the guys that live there and he was able to put a towel at the door entrance of his door that gap and stopped any water from getting in his room before they were able to get the water turned off upstairs but he was he was just decided he was headed home so i think it was sunday evening they had uh, six to ten inches i can't remember how many and he said it's a very dry dusty light snow so he said his son because my brother didn't know anybody was coming he hadn't cleared the driveway or shoveled anything and said that his son couldn't even get into the driveway at their place and they have a fairly long driveway. And my brother said that his son came to the door walking through six to 10 inches of snow in below freezing temperatures at night wearing flip-flops and shorts. Oh my, I was quite amused to hear that. So AJ, way to go, buddy. Really proud of you for um, doing that. Wow. When I was out clearing off the cars this morning, I'm like, how could anybody not love this? So had a blast doing that. Um, but I would not be one wearing flip-flops and shorts. I like my boots, I like my socks, I like my warm clothes, I like my warm jacket. I like to be warm, but I like to be warm in the cold. So, um, that, uh, that was rather amusing to hear that story. So... So what do you have planned today? What is on your agenda? What is on your calendar? I hope that whatever it is, you um, invite Jesus to be part of your day with you. I hope that whatever it is, you join in with him on this journey that you're on. I hope that whatever is ahead for you today, that you will navigate it with joy and excitement and anticipation. I hope that whatever is ahead of you today, that there will be great peace surrounding you, even in the midst of uh, any uncertainty. I hope that whatever is ahead for you today you will walk through it confidently knowing that God's trustworthiness is at your side. And um, I pray that God's peace surrounds you, envelops you, carries you through today. If you're working inside or outside, if you're working outside, I hope that you're warm and safe. If you're working inside, I hope that you have gratitude. <laughs> and if you have a two-hour delay, 
and you're a teacher, you'll be experiencing envy from my wife and daughter because there is no two hour delay coming their way this morning, which is their favorite. My hands are still happy with a cup of coffee, warming them up. <laughs> the snow this morning is a very light, dusty, easy to sweep snow, the kind that falls when it's really, really cold outside. So uh, I started my car right before I came on daylight, so I hope that it's warming up adequately and well before I head out. <laughs> So it's upper body today. Um, this is my favorite week with upper body on Monday and Thursday. And because of the snow and <clears throat> all that was going on on Monday, I did not, uh, did not make it to the gym on Monday. So grateful to be making it there today and able to um, exercise. Appreciate Gary staying open during this uncertain weather. That we've been facing all this time and I hope that um, uh, then I'm going to my second workout after that so it's a big big morning I got to go get my clothes gathered together for that so I'm gonna sign off um, I missed you so much yesterday so glad to be with you today and I hope that God that his presence his love his blessings are so evident today in your life that his faithfulness and trustworthiness and goodness uh, shows up in ways that even you notice today, even I notice today, because um, he's always working, but so often we miss <clears throat> what he's doing. And so I hope today that you get a glimpse of some of that. So let's pray and uh, get our day started together. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your grace, your goodness, your faithfulness, for the blessing of breath in our lungs this morning and the gift of life that you have entrusted to us today. I pray, Lord, that we will be good stewards of that gift of life. I pray, Lord, that we will be ones who bless everyone that we interact with today. I pray, Lord, that your love and your grace and your presence will be very uh, real to each of us as we navigate all that is ahead for us today. <clears throat> pray that you would keep everyone safe on the roads. And uh, for our friends in Texas and Arkansas and other places that are having, um, that are have lost electricity. Pray, Lord, that our friends that work for the energy companies would be able to get those wires reconnected and the transformers replaced and the lines back up and flowing with electricity. I pray, Lord, for warmth uh, and your provision for each person that is suffering and struggling in the frigid weather right now. God, we humbly ask for this. And we're humbled by uh, your goodness and love. Thank you for your faithfulness and trustworthiness. It's with great anticipation that we look forward to today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. God bless you. Can't wait till I get to see you tomorrow. Have a great day.